This video shows how to set up the Dwarf 3 in Equatorial mode. First, let's understand the benefits of setting up in EQ mode. If the Dwarf is placed flat, in what's called Alt As mode, the image frame slowly rotates during long exposures. It can still track the target, but the edges won't stay aligned. EQ mode counters Earth's rotation, keeping the frame steady. Use it for exposures over 30 seconds or for astro mosaics. In EQ mode, Dwarf 3's main axis is parallel to Earth's rotation axis, allowing it to move along with the Earth. To set EQ mode, you'll need a dwarf, a tripod, and a compass. In the app's Deep Sky Mode interface, choose EQ mode and follow the instructions to prepare your tools and set up the dwarf. Here you can see your coordinates. Note your hemisphere and latitude. To keep the tripod stable, point one leg in the direction of the dwarf's tilt. If the ground is uneven, adjust the length of the tripod legs to keep it level. Mount the dwarf device. Remove the plate, mount it vertically on the dwarf base, then reinstall it on the tripod and tighten the knob. Next, find the right direction. In the northern hemisphere, point the dwarf logo toward yourself with the back facing true north. In the southern hemisphere, point the back toward the true south instead. Next, adjust the tilt angle. For example, at 30 degrees north latitude, tilt the dwarf device backward 60 degrees so its angle with the horizon is about 30 degrees, matching your local latitude. Finally, point the lens toward the starry sky. EQ mode is now set up. At night, you can fine-tune the dwarf's angle in EQ mode. Tap Next, and dwarf will automatically calculate its position in the sky to check if the position is correct. Note the direction and angle you need to adjust. Rotate the tripod head clockwise or counterclockwise horizontally, or rotate the entire tripod to point dwarf's back toward true north or south. Tilt the head up or down to match dwarf's angle with the horizon to your local latitude. After adjustments, tap Next to verify again until successful. Don't move the device manually after successfully setting it up, or you'll need to reset the EQ mode.